What's going on boys? Minuscule Mitch here back once again. We got a double upload today. Guys, this is going to be my very, very last game of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Uh, as you can see, we've done all there is to do. Team of the Season Neymar, Prime Pele, Ansu Fati, in my opinion, the best striker in the entirety of the game. You have Felix, 5 star, 4 star, 44 games played, 45 goals, and 35 assists. Absolute studded striker for me. Uh, Modric and Team of the Year Conte back here, absolute studs. Uh, we do have the. Oh, God, I can't even remember the name of the cards anymore. Foot. Summer Heat. Jesus. Wow, it's really been a while since I played. Summer Heat, uh, Mendy, and Semedo as my wingbacks. Absolutely stunning. Couldn't ask for a better pairing. And then, in my opinion, he made it a long time on this team. Militao, absolute legend. He's played 518 games for me. Uh, we got Ramos filling in. I used to have uh, team of the season Diego Carlos, but he's for some reason gone up in price. And then we have uh, team of the season Oblak and goal. Uh, only subs that made it was Paulinho and Mares. Um, and this team plays in a 4-2-3-1. Uh, we have Felix up top, Neymar and Fati out wide with Pele as our central cam. Obviously, Modric and Conte as our CDMs, guys. But it's a sad day. This is going to be our very, very last game of FIFA 20. We're playing a Rivals game. We're going with the all-black Monaco kits. It's been a hell of a year, guys. I don't know about you. Uh, the luck was crazy for us. Oh, wow. He did that Tiago. Oh, this guy's been playing FIFA, man. Jeez. All Bundesliga team. That's a nice little squad he's got. Uh, and then he's got uh, Mbappe and Neymar up top as well. But uh, it's been a hell of a year, guys. Um, team of the season, Neymar. Team of the year, Messi. Tradable. Team of the 99, team of the season, Lewandowski. Tradable. Two million coins when I got him. Um, Pele. Just giant pools all year. Um, barely put any money into the game. It had a really, really good amount to show for it. Um, so I can't complain whatsoever, guys. This is going to be my very first uh, uncut raw gameplay. Uh, usually cut it down, get the highlights out of it. But, you know, it's the last game of the year. Let's make it a long one. Let's show you the full thing. I don't really talk when I play usually. There's a goal. Neymar right off the bat. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Three minutes into our fucking last game of the year. And uh, we're already on the boards here, guys. And it's against a pretty good team. Um, as you guys know, 5-star, five 5-star five was a huge deal this year. So having Neymar team of the season has just completely changed it. Once I packed him, things really turned around for me. Um, the only player that I wasn't exactly super happy with being in my endgame team is uh, that Ansu Fati. He's very good, obviously. Um, there's just a couple, like, maybe moments Garincha could have gotten in there. Um, team of the year Messi even, even though I wasn't his biggest, biggest fan. But other than that, this team is pretty much maxed out. Um, obviously could get the team of the season Ramos, but I think Carlos is better than him personally. Um, but... I can't complain at all, guys. This team is absurd. Oh, and I packed Team of the Arcante. Forgot about that as well. Um, they really... Ah, get that out of there. Uh, they really made it... I'm not going to say easy, but... Accessible and obtainable to get like big teams in this game. Um, as long as you grind the game, obviously. But the objective section was huge, especially towards Summer Heat. Uh, Milestones was kind of a dud, honestly. Uh, that Polit uh, Politano card, though. The 89 for Napoli. I had him in my squad for a long, long time. Very good card. Um, get in, ball. See, there's Felix. I mean, he's absurd. Weak foot, laser. That's never getting saved. Um, but between the objectives, the, the seasons, obviously weekend league rewards, um, rivals rewards, they just made it super obtainable to... Eventually pack something good, even SBCs. Um, what I will say, though, good D there by Semedo. Um, it really, I never really packed anything decent from the league SBCs. Uh, usually we grind them, we get something good. They tend to typically have better pack luck, if anything. But uh, did not get anything from them this year, unfortunately. 
Um, but they did release a lot of cool cards. I like how they added Team of the Season on to that towards the end. Um, just kept the game kind of up to date and current as far as all those lasting SBCs went. So, in my opinion, I think they did a really, really good job this year with Ultimate Team in general. Um, hold on. Ah. I think they did a really good job it's with the content, I will say. They did an exceptional job with. Um, like I said, the only thing that was really lacking is the object or the yeah objective section. No, no, no uh, milestone section. Um, that was a really promising segment that they added this year, and they just kind of never did anything with it after that second wave of the boosted players. Um, so hopefully we see some more in that category next year. There's another one. Oh my god, what a save, Neuer. Um, but other than that, everything was super obtainable. Really enjoyed the content. They kept coming out with it basically to the very end, which is really different for them. They usually kind of die out earlier. Um... So, really happy with the way this game came out this year. Only thing complaint-wise I have is this move right here. It's the drag back. Absolutely ate people up, including me, because I'm not the best of defenders. And uh, that drag back is just so hard to defend. Give me one second. Let me adjust this. All right. All good. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, it's just impossible to defend certain things this year, which is very frustrating in the weekend league because I'm typically a gold one, once in a while, elite three player. Um, and honestly, this year it was a struggle getting gold three, and I only got gold two like once or twice, um, just because of how meta and sweaty all these kids were abusing the drag backs and all the different things you can do in this game near post. Uh, that being said, obviously there's always a meta and there's always things that are going to get exploited throughout the year, but this was kind of just like undefendable this year. Oh, what a ball there, Felix. Left foot, 3-0. Well, I am glad this kid's sticking around for our last game of the year for sure. Um, he's not great. Team's pretty big, but... Uh, He's an alright player. He hasn't really had much uh, attacking, and he's not very good on defense either. So, But at least he's given us a full game here as our last game of FIFA 20, which is nice. Oh, he almost got through there. Uh, I did play a lot of the beta, and the dribbling feels really good. Um, I always call it the wrong thing. I want to say the La Croqueta, but I know that's not the name of it. Um, the move, I'll show you here when I get the ball back, but... It feels good again in this upcoming FIFA, which is the move I abused all of 2019, speaking of meta and whatnot. Um, it's the move that I absolutely destroyed with in 19, and it was completely useless this year in 20, um, just because you couldn't really possess the ball that well with it. Um, if I ever get the ball back here, I'll show you guys. You'll know what I'm talking about right away. It was super OP in 19 and worthless in this game. Come on. Give me the ball. There we go. Oh my god. Walking right past it. He's walking past people. Alright, here we go. So this move right here. It didn't always not work, but that move right there. Simple enough, but you see how it gets away from him there? Um, in the beta, at least, I felt like that move is going to be back next year. It felt really tight. So we'll see how that goes, but my initial thoughts on it are that... That's going to be back. Dribbling in general feels really tight. Uh, the drag back is still there, unfortunately. Uh, still feels OP as well. Um, but obviously, that is just the beta. They make a lot of tweaks afterwards. You uh, typically... I'll go block there. Typically, they make it very easy to score in the beta, in my opinion, so that people feel like they're good at the game, they want to buy the game. Um, but they change a lot of things down the road. Uh, especially long shots is one thing that they really adjust throughout the year. Get in. Ah! Man, I have not played this in probably two, three weeks. And it feels really loose. Good tackle, Ramos. Wow. Um, now, as far as the metas go next year, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of the same. They've taken a lot of the higher-paced players down, though. Like, Sancho's down to, like, an 83. 
um Komen's down i think but like the really top top tier guys like adama and bape they're still way up there so i feel like it's gonna create a little bit of a difference um like a little bit of a threshold between really really fast and then everyone else is just kind of be decent they did bring a lot of players up though as well like cruz is back up to a decent pace james is still terrible but i think he'll get a couple informs playing at uh, everton he's doing pretty well there already um so we'll see there's a lot of a lot of question marks on the board for next year's fifa as always god that moves so good here Well, it's not fair to show you guys with a guy with 99 dribbling, but you know it's not as good as it was. Can't they hit a finesse? Oh. I tried to save for that card for so long. Never could keep my coins because there were so many SBCs. And then I finally packed them very late on in the FIFA, but I'm not going to complain. But this team is insane. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, what do we got? Modric, he's got great finesse shots as well. A lot of people question me for using that card for so long, but I think he is amazing. I'm not a real big fan of uh, big CDMs, clunky CDMs. I like guys that just move the ball well. They got a shot on them. And uh, obviously really good stamina. Come on, Fatih, hit one. Yeah, see, he's just... He's the one weak link of this team, and he's a 93-rated 4-star, four 4-star four absolute tank. So... It's got a lot to say about the team in general. But pass. Ramos is up. Let's see if we can't get some fancy stuff going. Oh, I blew it. I was trying to get a sombrero flick over me. Good steal. You're in. One time. <sighs> Ooh, Neymar, good shot. That's a very tough hit. Um, another thing I'm looking forward to next year is I'm hoping that they get some good goalies in the game because this year it was rough, guys. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It There was very few good goalies in this game. Um, and they definitely need to fix that because there's better players than... Like, Neuer was terrible this year. De Gea was terrible. Like, they really need to uh, find a better a better median, I guess I would say. So, it's not just the the Vandersars and the team of the season, Oblox, are OP. It's everyone's kind of on the same page. And I think this guy's going to be getting out of here, unfortunately. Um, I'll try and hold on to it and get one more if I can. Oh, yeah, he's done. All right, let me go on a skill run here if I can. Uh, I think that's going to do it for FIFA 20, guys. So we got 66 minutes into the game. Four or five nil there. Uh, we got a goals with Felix, Pele, and Neymar. My boys, uh, best top three. You could ever ask for so i can't complain at all guys if you did enjoy the video and if you want to squeak one more game of fifa 20 out on me uh let me know we'll do one on twitch or something this week but uh just leave a like comment and subscribe guys if you did enjoy the video i uh, got content coming out every day this week maybe even twice a day like today and uh we'll see you next time guys thanks so much have a good one Thank you.